All right, so in this problem, we are solving for the values of x and y, and we can solve in two methods. We can use the elimination method or the substitution method. I will be using the, the elimination method, but you are more than welcome to also use the substitution one. All right, now in order to use the elimination method, we are going to multiply our second equation by 2. And let's rewrite it here on the right. We have 4x plus 2y equals 18. And if we multiply our entire second equation by 2, we have 12x minus 2y equals 26. Now, if we add these two equations together, our two y's cancel out, and we are left with 16x equals 44. Now, if we want to eliminate our uh, if we want to isolate our x to find its value, we will be dividing 16 on both sides. And we are left here with x equals 44 divided by 16. And if we simplify this by dividing the numerator and denominator by 4, we are left with x equals 11 divided by 4. Now, all of our answers are written in decimal form, so we have to simplify or we have to convert this fraction into decimal form and we can break this fraction up into 4 plus 4 plus 3 where we broke up this 11 into these numbers and divide everything by 4. Now if we do so we are left with x equals 1 plus 1 plus 3 over 4. Now when we add all of these together we have 2.75 because 3 over 4 is in, in decimal form will be written as 0 0.75. Alright, so now we have our x value and we can plug it into our first equation to find what the value of y will be. And so we have 4 times, instead of x we're going to write 2.75 plus 2y equals 18. Now 4 times 2.75 will give us 11 plus 2y equals 18. Now we'll subtract 11 on both sides and we are left with 2y equals 7. Alright, now if we isolate y in order to find its value, we will divide 2 on both sides and we are left with y equals 7 divided by 2 and in decimal form that is 3.5. So our x value is 2.75 and our y value is 3.5. So 2.75 and 3.5 will be our final answer, and that corresponds with the answer shown in A. Therefore, A will be our final answer.